What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys a character update going into the King's Fall Hard Mode Raid coming out later today on October 23rd, Friday at 10am Pacific. So I'm going to show you guys a character update since you guys don't get to see my character or my characters very often and all you guys get to see are the rewards that I get from activities that I play. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys a current character update and I'll show you guys my go-to weapons all that good stuff so let's get into it so here we go here's my warlock it technically is my main character just because this is the first character that I created when I first started playing destiny back a year ago and uh, I like to play with all the classes almost equally I kinda like hunter just as much as warlock at the moment uh, but this is technically my main character so I'm gonna stick with him to start off as my first character to go into the raid with and uh, currently my highest light is at 308 because I'm super unlucky with my chess pieces. This is the one piece holding me back right now. And uh, this is the highest piece of gear that I have at 300. Um, so that's why I'm at 308 and I can't get to 309. So I think 309 might be a little bit better. Especially because the recommended light is 310 going into hard mode. Uh, since we're going to get drops at 310 to 320. And we're probably going to face 320 level bosses like Oryx at the very end. Uh, so the higher I can get, the better. But uh, this is currently in my highest as of right now. Because I'm super unlucky at getting chest piece drops in the raid. And I also am super unlucky at getting uh, exotic chess engrams from 3 of coins and stuff like that. So that's the reason why I can't get higher than 300 at the moment for my chest piece. But uh, let's get into all my gear and stuff. So for the subclasses, uh, mainly I use Stormcaller in the whole raid. I think Stormcaller is pretty vital in the Golgoroth fight especially. Because once the Taken starts spawning, spawning, can't say anything. Uh, once the Taken starts spawning, then uh, you got to clear out all the adds for your teammates. And uh, Stormtrance is really good at doing so. So that's... That's something really good that I like about Storm Trance. It's really good. It's one of the best, like, uh, ad killing supers out of all of them right now. I'm, I mean, Hammer of Soul is actually pretty good as well. But I think uh, because you can chain lightning to other to other enemies and it clears out pathways for your team by clearing out mobs of guys, um, it's just really solid for uh, just clearing out ads and stuff. So I like Stormcaller majority of the time. Again, Sunsinger can be useful in hard mode when you can't respawn so that's gonna add a lot of change to what people do in terms of using a warlock um, and then for the other classes uh, I think Night Stalker is infinitely better than the other two especially for PvE just cause getting that tether off can help you uh, help your whole team deal more damage and then um, Defender Titan is obviously one of the best PvE subclasses but um, Hammer of Soul can obviously help again because melting point is really good for dealing more damage as well and hammer soul in general also clears out um, waves of guys as well so uh, I think those those subclasses are gonna be the most prominently used um, in the raid for hard mode and then for my weapons right now for the primary section we have touch of malice as my main go-to weapon I also actually Zalo supercell is also a main go-to weapon for me these two are pretty much the ones I use the whole time in the raid. And I really like Zalo Supercell because it helps me get my super faster um, when I get double kills. And also gives me more ammo back to the magazine. It just is really good for clearing adds as well. Um, so I like it a lot. It also has some elemental damage which does help for arc enemies. And I believe there are no other elemental primaries in the game right now until hard mode drops some. And uh, I think Trials will drop some as well, so that would be good when uh, those two start dropping elemental primaries. And uh, we can use other elements as well in our primary slot. Uh, so I also kept this 310 hand cannon just because it's at 310. It also has Firefly on it. I kind of like the hand cannon. It's pretty solid. Uh, the only problem is the reload speed, obviously. But um, with Cocoon on all the raid weapons, it is pretty helpful. I can just stow it for a little while and then return to it. And it will have full ammo. So that's really good. Especially because the reload is pretty bad on the hand cannon. Um, I pretty much... I don't really use the uh, scout or pulse. I do have it on my other characters. I actually have one right here. Um, but 
I don't really use it too often, so I I might not use it at all, even though it does have the Cocoon perk, and a lot of people are speculating that Cocoon is going to be really prominent in the hard mode raid, but um, I will use it if we do need it, so I may uh, put it onto this character if we need it, but I pretty much stick to Touch of Malice and uh, Zalo the whole time. For my specials, uh, I pretty much only used Thousand Yard Stare the whole time. So uh, this is a Thousand Yard Stare that I got early on in the game, and it came with a uh, Firefly and a one or Army of One, and it also has Short Gaze on it. So I love it a lot. It's my go-to sniper for PVE and PVP at the moment, and uh, I love it a lot. So I pretty much stick to this the whole time. Obviously, I have some raid weapons like the shotgun and the fusion rifle. I also have the sniper rifle on another character, um, but I pretty much stick to this majority of the time, so I don't really use anything else. I think sniper and machine guns are the way to go for your special and heavy slot uh, because this raid requires a lot of long distance fighting and uh, rockets also isn't very helpful because um, you're pretty much trying to deal damage, especially in the boss fights, you're trying to deal damage on like crit spots and rockets don't really do that much because uh, there's no rocket in year 2 that does what Galhorn did back in year 1. So um, machine gun I think is the way to go. You can even use swords though uh, to deal a lot of damage to enemies up close. So that could be helpful in some scenarios. So I do have um, swords. Did I say shields? I meant swords if I said shields. Uh, but swords will be helpful in close range scenarios. So I have that ready as well. Um, and then, yeah, I have a rocket launcher also, the Soros one from the Gunsmith, just in case we do need a rocket launcher, because I think I infused my raid one into this one, because I wanted to use this for PvP, so yeah. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I use for my weapons, that's like my go-to, uh, this Quillum Terminus at 310 is my favorite raid weapon at the moment, if I didn't talk about this yet. Uh, this one came with Army of One as well. And uh, these two are like my best weapons right now. I have a 310 Quillums, 310 Thousand Yard Stare, and those are my two go-to weapons in the raid. Even in PvP as well, um, they're like my go-to special and heavy at the moment. So I really love using these two weapons uh, quite a bit, and I hardly ever switch from them. So that's my weapon lineup. For my Ghost, we have a 309 Ghost Shell. Uh, this is my highest one at the moment, so um, kind of got to get lucky to get a 310. But uh, now that they're raising it to 320, we're seeing we can see higher level ghost shells drop in hard mode. And then uh, going into my armor, so currently for my helmets, um, I have a 309 Light Beyond Nemesis that I infused all the way up from 290. And um, I got really unlucky because I had it at 305 and I infused a 310 into it, and that's why I ended up at 309. And the reason why I don't want to infuse like this Obsidian Mine, I'm probably not going to use this 310 Obsidian Mine, but I wanted to infuse it into this. But the reason why I haven't done so yet is because now that the light level is going at 320, um, in case they get like a hard mode drop of like a 314, 315 helmet, something like that, higher than 310, I can infuse that into this helmet because I want to use this for trials. And... Um, that's going to be a lot more helpful instead of just using uh, infusion on this just to get it up one light. So that's not going to be that much of a deal or that big of a deal um, as of right now, especially because the light's going to increase in um, hard mode. So that's pretty much my helmet situation as of right now. For my gauntlets, I have a 309 and grass of ear. Um, I have some 310s, but again, I don't want to infuse it just for one light, like I said. Uh, so I'm probably going to stick to this as of right now. It has uh, increased reload speed when you're in an aura, which is really good for a lot of the boss fights when you need to be in the aura to deal damage to the boss, whichever one you're fighting. Uh, so I like this one a lot. This is my highest drop. Um, and then for my chest pieces, like I said earlier on in the video, I'm really unlucky at getting exotic chest engrams. I'm, I'm unlucky at the drops from um, Oryx himself, or not Oryx, from Golgoroth, because I believe or Golgoroth gives the armor pieces and even oryx actually if you use moldering shards uh, so I got really unlucky I got 300 ones twice and my other characters actually have a higher one um, I believe one of my characters has a 303 one and uh, my other one has a 300 one as well I think so I'm really unlucky at my chest pieces for the raid so that's why it's holding me back right now 
Um, the only chest engram I got from a three of coins is this one, which was a void fang vestment that came in at 290. So that's my luck, and that's why I can't get this or even infuse this higher a little bit. So yeah. For my boots, I'm at 308 for my boots. It has intellect discipline. I really love these boots. Gives me agility when torn between dimensions as well because I'm typically the runner for my team when we do the orcs fight and stuff like that. So hopefully this um, helps me out a lot in that. I mean, it will help me out a lot in that. But hopefully I can get a better one going into hard mode so I can uh, have a lot more help. Especially because agility is something that warlocks lack in terms compared to the other two characters or classes. So uh, I love that this gives me a little bit more agility when I'm doing the jumps. And then for my bond or my class item, my highest one is at 309. So hopefully we get some higher ones, maybe 320 ones as well. And then my artifact is at 310, the one that you get from the King's Fall quest. The Road to King's Fall I believe is what it's called. So yeah. So that's currently what I'm rocking with on my Warlock. And uh, I'll show you guys my rewards from hard mode if we can complete it. So yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Sorry for making it super long. Hopefully it wasn't too long, but that's about it. I'll catch you guys next time, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!